this video will talk about the uh, angles which are occurring in the PV sector um, due to the uh, rotation of Earth um, around the Sun and uh, so the movement of the Sun uh, at the horizon. So first of all, we need to talk about the orientation. And so we have North, South, East and West. Um, and um, in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, uh, the, the Sun is moving from East, going to South, and then Sunset is uh, West on the Southern Hemisphere, it's the other way around. And we need to define some angles. So typically what we do is we say that the rotation to the North is zero degrees, then we have uh, Eastern direction, 90 degrees, South is 180 degrees, and West is then 270 degrees. Um, what you can also observe is that um, sometimes the angles have different values. Um, that you see that South is uh, defined as zero degrees uh, coming um, from the beginning of the PV business in uh, Europe, mainly in Germany. So, okay, the highest position of the sun um, above the horizon is uh, at noon. So, this is we, we define this as 90 degrees and say, okay, to the west it's plus 90 degrees, and to the east is minus 90 degrees, and then north would be uh, 180 degrees. So, keep this in mind if you see uh, angles in the PP sector and always think about. Um, what is meant with an orientation of zero degrees? Um, is it uh, south or, or north? Second angle, or well, this angle here we were talking about, this is the azimut angle abbreviated with an alpha. So this is the uh, azimuth angle um, beginning from the north typically. Uh, and then the second angle we need to talk about is gamma. This is the solar elevation, solar elevation angle. Um, so if we have the horizon, and here this is the position of the sun, so we face to the sun, and then this is the angle uh, gamma with this uh, triangle. And to define the position of the sun, you will always need both angles, alpha and gamma. Uh, they change uh, with the time, of course, so they depend on the on the time, on the day of the month, and of course on your uh, location on Earth. The next angles we have to define are uh, the orientation of our PV generators, so the PV modules we uh, place on a roof or ground mounted. Um, so, of course, the uh, PV module um, has an orientation and an inclination angle. Um, so, on the one hand, we have the azimuth angle of the PV generator angle of PV generator. So this uh, module here on the left hand side. Um, so this is oriented in this case when we say this is south, um, and this is the northern direction. So we have this angle counted from the north. So this is the ethnic angle alpha uh, of the PV generator. So call this uh, alpha P, for example. Um, of course, it might also occur that this is uh, this angle is counted with the, begins at the southern direction. Uh, so that we just have let's make this in red and just this angle. So I'm, uh, starting from the northern direction, this might be an angle of 190 degrees, or in this uh, other uh, definition, we would just have an angle of plus. 10 degrees. So again, keep keep this in mind when you're talking about the angles. Uh, and the second angle, of course, is uh, 
the tilt angle of our solar module. We'll talk about this later, why we do this. So if you have our module, this is the horizontal plane. And then we have this, um, this tilt angle, or inclination angle, so this is the tilt angle uh, beta. Um, and if we have the sun here, somewhere here, what we get is we get more solar energy we can connect uh, from our um, from the sun. So see here um, this tilt angle beta. Finally, we will have a look at the position of the sun. So uh, the pathway the sun runs uh, across the sky. Um, so let's take this diagram. We have the elevation angle on the y-axis and the azimut angle alpha on the x-axis. So let's have, have, have a quick look at what is the movement of the sun across the sky um, in Central Europe. So start with the winter times, so November, December, January. Um, what's the pathway? So the sun rises in the southeast, so somewhere here, uh, rises at noon. We have a highest elevation angle of, uh, uh, let's say, 16 degrees, something like this. And then we have the sunset in the afternoon, getting dark. Uh, very fast, so the sun moves across this line um, in winter time. So this is winter time. Um, we get a different picture, of course, uh, in, in the summer time. So um, sunrise is uh, in the northeast, or close to the northeastern eastern orientation. So somewhere here, the sun is rising fast. And the highest elevation angle is somewhere here. So what we get is uh, this pathway that the sun is, is moving this way. Highest elevation angle is close to 60 degrees. And then we have the sunset in the afternoon in the late evening, uh, close to 350 degrees. So that's the movement of the sun. See the positions represent the position at noon, this is noon, so 12 o'clock in uh, UTC or one o'clock in the summertime. So that's the movement. So it looks totally different. So this is the summertime and in spring or autumn, like in September or, or March, um, it looks uh, something like this that we are starting at east uh, highest elevation angle is close to 50 degrees so from here so that's the movement of the sun in the uh, autumn or spring autumn or spring and uh, let's collect this better sketch. So something like this, and the sun moves across this line here, or this pathway, uh, rising and setting. Uh, of course, this uh, pathways depend on uh, the location on Earth. If, if you do this in, in different countries, like, for example, Egypt, so closer to the equator, uh, what you get is uh, in, in winter time, for example, um, uh, something like this, that uh, Sunrise is even uh, faster, so that's the situation for Egypt or Northern America, uh, Africa. Uh, so something like like this. This is the winter time or the winter pathway in in Egypt. Um, and if you have a look at the situation in the summertime, it starts somewhere here, uh, rises close to uh, 90 degrees, so we are nearly perpendicular to the surface. So we have a fast rise of the sun uh, getting noon, this flattening of the pathway, and then we will uh, get somewhere here. So this is again then sunset. So this is the situation in, in, in summertime in, in Egypt. 
So you see the pathway is totally different of, of the sun. So if you are thinking about in the installation of a PV system, you have to keep in mind that uh, the movement of the sun and uh, the amount of solar energy you can you can get uh, highly depends on the location you are uh, on Earth.